hi welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be the next set of Degrassi girls created in the Sims cast um so last video I did people uh females added to the main cast from season um five and then season Seven? No, season six. I think it was. I just looked it up. It was uh, females added to the main cast for season five and six, which was um, Alex and then Darcy. So this video is the females added to um, season seven, which is Jane, Holly J, and Mia. So we are going to start with Jane. She was played by Paula Brancati, um, and she is described as a tough tomboy and she is a completely new character that we have never met before so let's get into it and as i usually do i um am doing them based on the season that they're added to the main cast so even if they were on the show before but they were just a guest star or be a current character i am doing their look from the season they were added to the main cast just to kind of you know keep it the same through everything uh, but a lot of the characters they're added to the main cast um, as brand new characters. They, it's very rare where a character guest starred first and then was added to the main cast. Um, so Jane Vaughn. Now she was actually born Jane uh, Anastasia Vil uh, Valerie Valor Valerie Valerie. She said she said it in one of the episodes can't pronounce it but um she didn't want to be associated with her brother so she um changed her last name to Vaughn which it's probably her mother's maiden name even though her mother's last name is her married name her maiden name is probably Vaughn and then um she changed her first name from Anastasia or Anastasia I always say Anastasia but <laughs> but whatever um so, what does Jane want to do? I don't really know. I mean, the original Jane I did, I gave her the aspiration bodybuilder because um, she wanted to play football with the guys, um, which it doesn't really work for her. I wish it was like an athletic, like, cause this is athletic, but I wish that it wasn't this extreme, like either bodybuilder I wish there was. I wish there was like a, a like a sports enthusiast uh, trait. This is an extreme sport, such as skiing and snowboarding. But I, I'll give her bodybuilder again. And then she is active, Ooh, and I am also it, gonna give yes. her the bro. Yeah, it's the bodybuilder. This sim wants to work out and become as strong as they can be high metabolism um it is easier to stay fit and trim when you have high metabolism active these things tend to be energized can pump up other sims and may become upset if they don't exercise for a period of time bro these sims can bro hug other bros gain confidence around other bros and become confident from watching sport so let's get into jane so if you guys don't know i um, have created a fan fiction and I've done it for a majority of the shows. The three most um, completed shows that I've done are um, Degrassi, Glee, and One Tree Hill. Those are the ones that I have done the most work and actually have come up with episodes for. Um, well, originally I, I didn't include Jane in my Degrassi fanfiction. Now, what I did for each Degrassi um, one is that I did, uh, there's going to be 10 seasons, but there's only five episodes in each season except for season one, which has 10 episodes because the first four episodes are going, are, um, reunion episodes. So the reunion movie episodes for each of the graduating class, but it's always two graduating classes together. So like episode one is going to be the first two graduating class. Episode two is the next two episode three. And then episode four is the last two. Um, and I originally had an include Jane because I don't know, she wasn't one of my favorite characters. And like, she was only there and I shipped her with Spinner, but then of course Spinner married Emma. 
And, hmm. Well, then I decided that I would bring Sean back. So, my whole purpose of this was that I had rewatched Degrassi. So, I had watched Degrassi. I've watched Degrassi a couple of times all the way through. If you guys don't know, Degrassi has um, 14 seasons, and then Degrassi Next Class has four seasons, and then Degrassi Junior High and Degrassi High has five seasons together. Um, sorry, I'm looking at her hair. And. Um, so I started rewatching again. This was about over a year ago because I started watching before winter break of last year, which was when they uh, were like, "You won't be coming back." No, that was before. It was before um, COVID and everything. It was before um, that became like a pandemic. And so I wa I finished over spring break last year. Um, and I began watching at the beginning of the school year. A lot of episodes to watch. I didn't rewatch the guys near high to guys in high. It was just um Degrassi and Excavation and Next Class. Um I've seen Degrassi Junior High and Degrassi High. But but anyway so I was rewatching it and I got a better appreciation for some characters that I hadn't included um in my original um fanfiction which was Bianca, Jane and um Sean. I had no Sean I had always included because I always liked Sean. And because originally my fanfiction started with um, only doing the characters from the first couple seasons because I was only going to do a reunion movie. Um, but then it turned into a whole series. So... <clears throat> it was... Um, oh picture I had disappeared oh well so it was Bianca and Jane are the only two I think that I hadn't included before and that I ended up including I think I'm not <laughs> not entirely sure um But anyway, so I included Jane and Bianca because I got a better appreciation for them. I preferred Bianca with Drew, and I preferred Jane with Spinner, and I preferred Emma with Sean. And that was always the storyline I was going to do. I was always going to do a storyline where Emma cheated on Spinner and it ends back up with Sean. That's how the end of the first reunion movie ends. It ends with Emma and Sean entering into this, um, uh, this affair. And so eventually I have Emma and Sean get married. Um, and they have a kid together. Originally the kid was going to be Emma and Spinner's um, third child. But I gave them two daughters and I gave her a daughter with Sean. And married them. And Sean already had a son. So they were raising their five kids together. Um, or four, ki four kids together. Can't do math apparently. And then I decided that Spinner now needs someone, so I recreated Jane into the show. And, <clears throat> sorry, I have a hard time of talking and doing things at the same time. So Jane doesn't actually have eye piercings, but I feel like she would. I feel like that's so something she would, so I'm gonna give her one. Um, so I, we, I created Jane and I added Jane into the story. And when we we're, when we're reintroduced to Jane, she's married to a guy named Salvatore DeLuca. And yes, if you guys know the last name DeLuca, I got his last name from um, Grey's Anatomy, Dr. DeLuca. And he's actually played by Giacomo Giannotti, who plays Andrew DeLuca, because I find him super attractive. But um, he's an Italian man she met while at Stanford. And he's a doctor, she's a lawyer, and they have four kids together, twins, a son and then a young daughter and I can't remember if in the reunion movie if they have their youngest daughter yet they definitely have the twins and the son but I can't I don't I think they have the youngest daughter uh, but then the reason she ends up moving back to Canada because she's living in California at this point the reason she ends up moving back to Canada 
is because um, her husband dies and she moves back with her mom and she reconnects with Sinner. This is after his divorce from Emma. They get married and they have a son together. And then with um, Bianca, because I did mention that I um, had originally not included Bianca. So the reason I re-added Bianca was because I put um, through with Becky. Now, the reason I did that was because at the point I created these cast members, he was actually still dating Becky, or I had just very recently broken up with him. And, um, I liked him with Becky. I thought they were cute, and, like, I needed to put him and her with people. And so, I, um... I really need to re-download some of my piercings, because I gave those to, um, Ellie. So I added Bianca, and I actually gave Bianca a daughter when we were first reintroduced to her. Uh, a daughter from a one-night stand, an ex-boyfriend who didn't want to be a father. But Bianca's a lawyer at this point, so she, like, is doing well for herself. She's raising her young daughter, and actually she has a relationship with Audra, who is his mother, if you guys don't know. Audra Torres is his stepmother. Uh, but he calls her mom, and she grew to like Bianca, um, especially after everything she knew that Bianca went through, and Bianca didn't have a mother in her life, so um, they actually have a relationship, and now Drew and Becky live all the way in Vermont, and so she sees Bianca more than she sees her own son, and she was so sad after... Um, Adam transitioned or became after Gracie became Adam even though she supported her son's decision to do that she missed her daughter so having Bianca was really important because she helped she watches um, Carter she, does, and she watches Carter when she's at work and then eventually um, uh, I give Bianca a son um, with a different guy I didn't want to make it seem like a, a like a like a slut but I wanted her, I wanted her to be a good parent to the kids that she got. And then I have uh, Becky and Drew divorced. And they have five kids together. Uh, four boys and a girl. Um, and then he ends up marrying um, Bianca. And they end up having two more kids together. A boy and a girl. So. I really like how my uh, storylines went. And I'm happy that I added them back. Um, there's a lot of characters that I um, ended up re-adding and characters that I took out. I originally had Wesley and Hannah. Uh, Wesley was a... he didn't actually have any episodes and his only big episodes were in season 10 and he ended up with the girl Hannah. But. I had them get together and have a daughter named uh, Leah from like a Star Wars because she was a nerd and she was actually kind of nerdy too. Um, but I really didn't like Spencer, uh, Spencer that's the actor's name, I didn't really like Wesley. Um, and so I took, I took them out. Um, I'm trying to find some eyeshadow. Maybe that. Uh, so yeah. Um, and they were also couples that I m made a couple even though they they had broken up for a long time and they weren't on good terms or they never dated. Like I um, made Cranky and um, uh, Baz a couple because I wanted to include Frankie. I wanted to make Frankie a mother. I couldn't think of who to make her a mother with um, because Jonah was no longer available and neither was Winston and I needed to include uh, Baz because I had included his sister because she was married to uh, Winston. So I just was like, let's put them together. But then they divorced very quickly and 
she actually begins dating at the very end of my series she begins dating Jonah um, and as you guys know Jonah actually was with Grace but Grace had a um, a chronic illness she had cystic fibrosis um, and she actually was only given a like 10 years to live with the new long she was given and I actually gave her a lot longer she ended up having two kids with Jonah and then I killed her off which was sad and I hated killing her off but she doesn't die until like season eight um, so they end up dating and um, Frankie actually had five daughters with Baz so okay I think, I think that's cute okay let's give her some hair I'm like talking way too much um, I just I don't know how YouTubers do it how like they can tell stories and also do those I mean a lot of um a lot of YouTubers, or the ones that I watch, like Little Little Simsy used to tell stories all the time, but they were doing their speed build, so I guess that was a little different. Um, but I, I'm gonna try. So in like, season 7, Jane had dreads. They weren't really dreads, they were kind of braids. Fox braids, I don't know, it was kind of hard to tell. She has dark hair, so it was really hard to tell what kind of hair she had. But, I really do want to try to show you guys my um, fanfiction. It's just that I posted before my um, One Tree Hill trailer for my fanfiction. I did a trailer for each family, so I did the Scotts, the Davises, and so on. And it was me talking, so I did kind of like a, a voiceover, and I was talking over it. Um, but at the very end, for like 10 seconds, I used the song, um, uh, the theme song from One Tree Hill which is called, um, let me check that, because now it's going to bother me that I can't remember what it was called, um, it's by Gavin DeGraw, Gavin, I don't want to be, that's what it's called, okay, so I used the song, don't, I don't want to be, which was the theme song from Hunter Hill, and I used it at the very end for like 10 seconds to do the trailer, um, even though the majority of the video was me speaking, so it was actually, it was originally got a copyright claim, and then it was banned. Which, I don't know why, I didn't really want to make money off of it, I just wanted to put my work out there, so I ended up taking it off. I have another video on my channel that has a copyright claim on it because of a song I used in it, uh, but it hasn't been banned. And that's not YouTube doing it, someone, like, someone who watches it, puts a ban on it like flags it which is a little petty um but if I do glee I shouldn't get copywritten on it because it is um songs that are actually from glee they're covers they're not the that they're not the actual artist singing it it's uh, glee and I've seen other videos where people have used songs from glee in them um, for Degrassi though, I'm not really sure. It's not as wide known of a show, so if I do use a theme song in it, I don't know. Um, so I might put out one when I finish it, and if it gets banned, I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out someplace else to post it. I have made a Wix though, so I could post the videos on Wix, um, and just, um, tell you guys on my YouTube channel to go check it out. Uh, but let me know in the comments what you think. Let me, <laughs> let me try to finish this, because I am talking way too much I just I wanted to be more you know talky with that's not a word I wanted to talk more in my videos because I always seem to just be scrolling through hairs or clothes and not say anything because like I find it really hard to talk and do things at the same time I'm not very good at multitasking apparently the the ADD in me. Um, I mean, that is the most similar to her hair, but it's not really. So if I can't get the box braids, I might just do her long straight hair and try to make it. I just, I like this hair. Very curly. Um, all of these are by Simple C. Audi, all of these hairs right here. Um, I like when a creator uses this same picture for all of their hairs which is really nice 
because you can see all of Simplicity's hairs at the same, except for these ones. These are her older hairs, though. Um, all of um, Winx has very similar pictures, and so does Nightcrawler, and I like when they're all like together. If you guys want to see a if you guys want to see a um, custom content overhaul, or like my favorite custom content, or me doing a um, CC shopping video, let me know. I'm not very good at CC shopping. I always go to the same places that I like um, and download. But I think I have way too many CC though. I, I probably need to get rid of some, but they're just all so pretty. Um, I guess this would probably be the best. Yeah. I think that's the best. Okay. So the outfit I used to have on her, I don't think I have anymore. <laughs> so. Oh my god, this person has huge boobs. Her boobs are not that big. They're not that small either. She has like a nice average size bosom. There! I'm gonna see if it's a mask. I can see her with the abs, I have no idea. It's a character actually in that, but she was a football player, so. And that is uh, football as an American football. Um. Oh, see, I think this is super cute because clip through the hair. I find it really hard to dress. Like, I dress all my sims the same. So, like, creating skin based on TV shows, I find it really hard to do. This could be cute. Ah. I think that's what I'm gonna use. I need to download more um, tops. I don't have many tops. I just I find tops really hard. I mean, I could try to find some non-CC tops. Oh, I could wear this new top. I might come back to top. I mean, I will come back to top. I don't think that's what happens in different. I just, I need to find pants first. <laughs> yeah, I think those are the cutest. So let's see if I can find... What is this? Yeah, it's cute. Or I could do like a tank top. Like that. That might be better. And then 
over here. And I'm actually going to put her in heels because as the show went on, she got a little more feminine and actually started wearing heels to school. So. I think those are super, super cute. Ooh. There's Jane. So moving on. We have Holly J. Sinclair. So Holly J. Sinclair was played by Charlotte Arnold, and she is described as a mean and acid tongue queen bee. Now she eventually tones down her um, personality, and she is also a brand new character. I'm going to try to go through this one a lot faster because I am running so over. Mm -hmm. Holly J. So her name's Holly J, but her um, middle name is Jeanette. And she hates when people call her Holly. Which I don't know why she prefers Holly J and hates when people call her Holly. I find that really weird. But whatever. So, her real name is Holly Jeanette Sinclair, but everyone calls her Holly, and even though she's brand new, we actually know her sister. Her sister, <clears throat> um, was, um, was Heather Sinclair. We never saw Heather. It was speculated that we would see Heather at her high school graduation, but we never did. So, I'm a little sad, but... Uh, I know I give a lot of my sins self-assured, but a lot of them are self-assured. Okay, the holiday. Later the pack. This one wants to be the, 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 be the leader of the best club in town, or if she wants to be super popular is what I'm making that out to be. Gregarious. Gregarious and build friendly relationships faster. Self-assured, these sins tend to be confident and mean. These sins become happy when being mean and mischievous. The other sins will become confident after winning a fight. That is so Holly J. So in my fanfiction, I actually made Holly J married to Stav, even though they had broken up in Degrassi um, before they graduated high school, but I... Um, Made them married and they gave them um, three kids. So. And she actually has strawberry blonde hair. Which I don't really know how to put in this game. It's kind of brown, I guess. And she does have blue eyes. How did we do this? Super fast. So. In season 7, she always wears her hair in a ponytail, too, and she's very stuck up and snobbish. Um, in the picture I have, she is wearing dangly earrings, so I'm gonna give her the matching set and gold. Even though in season 9, her family went broke, and they actually moved to a hotel in season, or not a hotel, an apartment 
in season 10. Um, yeah, but then that storyline, her um, poverty storyline, was never spoken about again after they moved. We didn't find out she was adopted. And then her mother went on and had uh, more kids without a spouse. So. There. That's very Holly. So let's look at that ponytail. Now she has a long ponytail. It's not like that though. That's a little much. Her hair is not that long. Oh, that's perfect. She wears her hair like that. Oh, and now I just have to find strawberry blonde hair. I think I'm just going to make it that because it's the lightest brown hmm. before going into blonde. And now she is wearing her sunglasses on her head in the picture I have. But I don't actually have some glasses I can wear on her head. So maybe mm. I can give her a, uh, a headband? Not that headband. Maybe not. Okay. Moving on to our clothes. That was pretty easy. Perfect. Now, in the picture, she doesn't have the little side thing, but... It's the best I can do. Now, she is wearing a business jacket, so, I mean, I could do this. Or, I could do one of those cute little... And then just put an air top in. I think I like the jacket better and I'm gonna do pink because she's probably gray. Yeah. And she wore skirts actually. She always wore a skirt. I just get black because none of the I wish there was a matching pattern to that. But there isn't. And again, I'm gonna give her some heels because I do think she was wearing heels. Because it's cute. There's Holly J. So, moving on. The last one is Mia Jones. So Mia Jones was actually introduced in season six. So she is played by Nina well, Dobrev, and if you guys know that name, you should, um, because she actually left Degrassi um, in season nine. She was in the first two episodes of season nine Degrassi, and then she left because she was actually cast hmm. in The Vampire Diaries. So she actually played. Elena um, Gilbert and she was on that show for six seasons and then she left that show but um, and also Sinead Grimes who I was Darcy so I did Darcy last video um, was left Degrassi in season eight the beginning of season eight she was in the first episode of season eight and then left to be on 90210, the new 90210, the remake, which is Beverly Hills or the old one Beverly Hills, but anyway, she was in the new one. Um, and she also left that show. She didn't stay on until the end. She left that one too. Um, but what's funny and people always make fun is that they both dated Peter and they were dating Peter when they both left the show. It was, it was funny. But anyway, she is described as a busy teenage mother. So yeah, that was Mia's storyline, was that she was a mother, she had a daughter, Isabella, when she was 
14 before she became the freshman in high school she had her. Um, so. So let's try to do her real quick. Mia Jones. So in my fanfiction, I actually have Mia as um, married to Peter, and he adopted Isabella, which was her daughter, and they had a son together. And I'm gonna have to make her a good parent. She doesn't want to be a good parent. She's fearful. <laughs> oh, and she's friendly. <laughs> And the hair this person is wearing is actually very similar to her. She has brown hair and dark brown eyes. Huh. And because uh Nina's actually Bulgarian, so her skin is actually a little darker. And Holly J, since she has strawberry blonde hair, she's actually a little paler. She has dark brown hair. So. Kind of like this. I mean, in season six, when she's introduced, she has really curly hair, but then by season seven, it's just wavy. But she has dark brown hair. And I forgot her eyes, but she has brown eyes. I think that's actually perfect. So I'm gonna move on to her outfit. Huh! Verange! <laughs> I mean, her hair is actually still curly in season Seven. She just doesn't have bangs anymore. So let me see if I can find a curly hair that isn't too outrageous. Hmm. That's too curly. Too curly. Still way too curly. I think I like the first one I picked.
can come to close. Just give her an inner top. Okay, and there is Mia Jones. So that was the last of the new girls from season seven. So we will save the household. The crafty new girl season seven. So in season eight, which will be the next video, we are introduced or if they're out of the main cast. Um, let's see. Leah. Leah and Anya. Leah Chang and Anya McPherson from, as juniors. And then, um, and they're, um, Leah's a brand new character. And then Anya was introduced in season seven. And then as freshmen, Claire and Allie are also introduced. Um, and Allie is a brand new character, but she is the younger sister of Sav, who was introduced in season seven. And then Claire is um, new to the school, um, but she guest starred in season six and seven, I believe, as um, Darcy's younger sister. I don't think she was in season anything. I think season six was her first season, but she was Darcy's younger sister. And Darcy's been on the show since season four, so... I think, yeah, season four, because we meet Darcy in the season where the school shooting happens, because she's one of the girls that kiss, that kisses um, Rick, and I mean, it makes sense, because Darcy is a, um, Don't, don't, oh, there we go. Darcy is in grade 12. She would have been a freshman in season four. Yes, because if she's a year younger than Liberty and the gang, they were sophomores in season four. So yes, that makes sense. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.